Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to install the shader mod for 1.8. This will work for any version, but this tutorial in particular is for 1.8. Uh, this was suggested by a comment. I'm going to splash it up on the screen now. <laughs> so I just figured, why not? If it's helpful, I know other people have done it, but who knows? Maybe I have the golden ticket to installing it for some people. So let's go ahead and get straight to it. So the first thing we're going to want to do is download these two files. This file in particular is just the shader that I'm using, so you don't necessarily have to download this. You can use any shader you want. But in this case, I'm using the Chukapik 13 Lite shader. You can find it in the description via link. The main file is the shaders mod itself. So let's go ahead and get those downloaded. I have a link for this as well in the description. All files in this tutorial will be in the description. <laughs> So what you're going to want to do is click download shadersmod.net. At the time there might be a higher version available. Just click whatever suits to your need. We're going to use 1.8 in this tutorial. So download shadersmod.net and I recommend you use adblock for this because the first time I did this whole process there were so many ads what with the website and adfly together it was just ridiculous and unbearable. So once you've done that just scroll down click download click the link that suits your needs and go through the process of installing and or downloading it rather now we're gonna install it <laughs> now I've already have both files installed so let's go ahead and go with it so you don't need a shader just to get it installed I just have it just to show you how to install a shader so what you're gonna want to do is click shaders mod the jar make sure all minecraft is closed including the launcher press OK now this is the part where you need to make sure you've ran minecraft 1.8 or whatever version you're using at least once you need to be able to at least get to the uh, world's multiplayer and you know settings screen in game in order to have the mod pack installed or the shader pack sorry shader mod there we go <laughs> this is just so that it has some base files to work with so once you've made sure you just select the version you're using and press OK this will create a profile in your launcher that you can use to use the shader mod. Press OK. Now open up Minecraft and let's go ahead and run the game at least once. This is so that the shader pack folder can be generated as well as the other shader configs can be folded. Loaded, sorry. <laughs> um, make sure you have the 1.8 shader profile selected. Uh, it's already selected by default I believe but I may be wrong. If not it's simple to select just profiles press play and this will download and really install all of the files it needs in order to run and from there you can even leave it open to do this you're just gonna go to your shader packs and drag and drop the zip file into your shader packs this is where all of your shaders will go after you've done that just click options shaders and then the shader that you would like to load you can even open the shaders folder from there so let's go ahead and head back over to the game and that's it that's pretty much all you need to do to install shader packs. It's pretty easy. I mean, it's pretty straightforward as well. If you guys need any other assistance in anything, let me know. Make sure to like and comment on the video. Feedback is always appreciated. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.